Business News Today, July 9, 2019. Welcome to BitMedia Business News Today with the latest world business news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news and insights, subscribe to the BitMedia channel and hit the bell notification. Now for the news. BASF profit warning hits German stocks, European stock fall. European shares opened lower on Tuesday, in what could be their third straight day of losses as German shares fell sharply, due to a profit warning from chemicals giant BASF. Amid dimming hopes of a sharp cut in U.S. interest rates this month, that has been weighing on riskier assets since late last week. The pan-European STOXX 600 index fell 0.4% by 0.714 GMT. In line with Asian peers and Wall Street overnight. Deutsche Bank, DBKGNDE, fell 1.6%, adding to Monday's 5.4% slide as it began to slash 18,000 jobs in a 7.4 billion euros, or 8.3 billion dollars, reinvention. That will cause yet another annual loss. Gold sees wildest price swings since 2016. The gold market is seeing the biggest price swing since late 2016, as traders and investors struggle to read when the U.S. Federal Reserve may cut interest rates. Bullion traded little changed in New York, just days after the metal surged near the highest since 2013. On bits the Fed will lower borrowing costs either at the end of this month or later. The appetite for gold began to wane, after data on Friday showed U.S. payrolls topped economists' estimates, weakening the case for policymakers to reduce rates. Facebook not invited to White House Social Media Summit, company. The White House has repeatedly declined to say who will attend the July 11th event. White House spokesman Joe Deere said last month, the meeting would bring together digital leaders for a robust conversation on the opportunities and challenges of today's online environment he said on Monday that Trump will speak at the event. U.S. politicians, led by Trump, have increasingly used social media to try to woo voters directly. Trump has said on many occasions that he would not have been elected without Twitter and Facebook. But Republican Trump has regularly attacked Facebook and Twitter as being biased in favor of Democrats without offering evidence. In March, Trump tweeted that Facebook, Google, and Twitter, not to mention the corrupt media, are so on the side of the radical left Democrats. But fear not, we will win anyway, just like we did before. All three companies have denied political bias. More than half of UK firms fear hit from post-Brexit immigration plan. More than half of British companies with foreign staff fear they would be hurt by the government's plans for a post-Brexit immigration system, according to a survey published on Tuesday. 53% of 380 businesses polled by the British Chambers of Commerce and job site Indeed said they would be negatively affected by an expansion of Britain's existing minimum salary threshold for skilled workers from outside the European Union to include all migrant workers after Brexit. 57% said they would be hurt by plans for a 12-month work and residency limit on lower-skilled immigrants. Businesses in many sectors are finding it increasingly difficult to hire workers with the right skills, Pavel Edrogen, an economist at Indeed said. Virgin Galactic to go public in billionaire space race. British billionaire Richard Branson's space tourism unit Virgin Galactic plans to go public, the Wall Street Journal reported Tuesday. The firm will list its shares as part of a deal with social capital head Asafia Holdings, a special purpose acquisition company created by venture capitalist Chamath Balihirpatidaya. The newspaper reported citing people familiar with the matter. Social capital head Asafia Holdings, formed by Palihar Patiya's social capital and venture capital firm Head Asafia in 2017, 
will reportedly invest $800 million in Virgin Galactic for a 49% stake. The billionaire business magnate is currently locked in a tense space race with rivals, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk SpaceX, and Amazon boss Jeff Bezos Blue Origin. It has so far sold 600 tickets at a price of $250,000 each. Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity ship was launched into space with three astronauts on board in February. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media Business News today. To keep updated with the latest business news, subscribe and hit the bell notification.